what are we doing here tonight? We are at the Lululemon Lab in Gastown and we're chatting about cannabis and fitness. Today it, there is Tantalus yep. and then we've got Emma Run's van as well who works closely with us. Much love. Have we had a chance to smoke yet? Not yet. Only vape. We should probably do that. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> in your face again. Sorry, I just got the dynamic duo together again. I don't I don't take pictures anymore. Yeah, I'll put it down. This is a collaborative panel to discuss and educate your personal wellness. Uh, who here has consumed cannabis in any form? Raise your hands. Why? <laughs> kind of let the audience know what kind of user are you? I've been consuming cannabis since I was a young teenager and uh, actually synonymous with my athletics career. I played rugby at a, at a competitive level in high school, also in university. Uh, cannabis and athletics have always been sort of one and one to me. I was consuming so much Advil uh, that I had a problem with my stomach lining. The argument can be made that it's less dangerous than Advil to continue to perform at a high level in that competitive uh, high contact sport. Uh, but I hung the cleats up a few years ago and, and still kept on with the cannabis. <laughs> um, so my, I'd say my background with athletics is that I'm an endurance athlete and I say athlete versus runner even though that's my primary discipline but athlete because I pretty much love anything that sadistically takes a long time and hurts a lot. <laughs> my goal right now is actually to finish the six world marathon majors in my 30s. So I'm at two deep, I got four more to go, it's all the international ones, so I saved the most expensive for last. <laughs> so over 15 years I emphatically got into it at a young age and I'm better for it. It's certainly shaped my social circles, it's shaped my career path, and it's shaped my experience of well-being as well. As far as my journey with cannabis and running goes, it's actually a big reason why I'm a marathoner. And cannabis has really been a huge catalyst in overcoming both mental and physical blocks to work up to those longer distances. <laughs> And what's going on tonight? Uh, there's a weed net party going on downstairs, launch of that site. And what venue is this? Cannabis Culture. Did you do a dab, Wendy Shep? I could not neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Sounds like she did a dab. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I would. I'll do a dab right now. get out of my existing job where it was a farm. I was just wanting to get a foot in the door and have some for a resume padding. And it still is an ongoing, ongoing discovery process for me and I kind of wanted to share that with other people and share what knowledge I pick up as I as I went along. Because we need more of it, right? So any content is good content, any content. I'm a terpene hunter, so I started you know, com combining all the things I loved about cannabis from a, a qualitative perspective. The point it really is me just being a connoisseur, respecting the plant in that regard, and teaching others how to respect it as well. 
we have some folks that are old friends of yours, mine, and everybody's on the craft side that are coming down the pipe. Top Leaf, uh, or BC Weed Company. And, then, and it's how these companies are approaching it. If you're producing shitty weed out there and you're an LP and you're telling me, hey, you know what, we got a long way to go here. We're trying to figure this out still, but we want to make this better. Yeah. I'm going to give you a lot of leeway at that point. But if you're coming out and telling me that your cannabis is the best, and that's what most of these companies are doing, is that we got the best, we got this, we got that. They talk about all these wonderful processes and growing. And yet the end product isn't there. If you're telling me that you're already there and you're nowhere near, that's what incites me. And that's yeah. what gets me basically onto my soapbox and shaking my fist. So I'm out today with my friend Emily from Ojai Life. We're basically checking out the City Cannabis store on Robson that opened up recently. Very impressed with the aesthetic. It's a beautiful store. It's well worth visiting. Cannabis is getting better but isn't as good as what we can get in a grey market situation. With that being said, there are some winners there. I was extremely impressed with Tantalus. Your canatonic is a CBD strain that really shouldn't be boasting big terpenes, but you're one of the only cannabis nugs there that actually boasted, boasted any terpenes whatsoever. Um, so hats off to you guys for creating a CBD strain that actually has terpenes on it, and secondly, being one of the only strains that has terpenes in that store. Oh, we can't be shitting entirely on the regulated system, but with that being said, there's still a lot of work to do. With that being said, the retail side of things is getting a lot better. The game is uh, stepping up, so congrats to City Cannabis. I've got competing protests going on down here. Come say hi, Emily. Hi! Uh, my name's Emily, and I'm starting a cannabis accessories brand called Ohio Collective. Check me out at Ohio Light. All right, guys, we're going to uh, keep moving here. We'll chat with you later on when we sample some of our regulated and non-regulated cannabis here in Vancouver. This is a high CBD strain which technically shouldn't be boasting a huge terpene profile, yet it is. It is also one of the only strains here that has terpenes on it when you get your nose in it. Um, which once again speaks volumes for the quality of cannabis that's coming out of Tantalus Labs. So what did, what did, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna try and start getting this to a level where everybody doesn't look like they're hobbits when I film. I picked up some goodies here at City Cannabis. It's my first time entering into a legal store, a physical legal store. Some nice Tantalus Serratus. Quest. I picked up the Vision Quest Strawberry Cough, both more of a sativa. I personally like sativas. Let's go. Oh, you're legal now. Legal in every You're way. legal. So legal. <laughs> I even have a receipt. <laughs> Get every shot you can kind of thing. Yeah. 